the RTX 3060, right around the corner. I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks that you guys can use to help you be successful so you can get the RTX 3060 on launch day. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech Vibe. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some tips and tricks with you that will help you be successful in purchasing the RTX 3060 on launch day. A lot of people are excited for these cards and with good reason. This card's gonna have the most VRAM minus the 3090 out of any 30 series card. No, it's not 6X, but it is still going to be fast VRAM and it's going to be a pretty powerful card. So guys, I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks with you guys and hopefully you'll walk away with one of the RTX 3060s on launch day. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so before we get into it, I do wanna go ahead and let you guys know, maybe you haven't heard, a lot of you probably have, but the RTX 3060 is going to be a card that is not going to be advantageous for miners to go after. Nvidia is taking steps in order to block miners from wanting to use this card and they're doing that by reducing the efficiency of it. They're reducing the hash rate that the RTX 3060 is actually capable of producing. Nvidia is claiming that this is going to be an unhackable route. I don't know if that's going to actually stick. I don't know that anything's unhackable nowadays, but I'm, I'm sure that for a while it'll probably work, but I wouldn't guarantee that it's going to stay that way. So nonetheless, I think that it's going to be a very big deterrent for now, at least for miners, which is going to be a good thing for gamers if you are after it. So if this is a card that you're wanting to get, you're a gamer, you've been looking forward to it, you're still gonna have to deal with bots, you're still gonna have to deal with scalpers, but you may not be competing with miners now, which is gonna be a good thing for you guys. Now, I'm gonna be getting to this tips real quick, but first guys, if you could do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe. I do my best to help out on this channel. I'm a fairly new channel, I'm trying to grow as much as I possibly can, so if you could do that for me, I'd appreciate it. Now, we're gonna get into this. Okay guys, so for the first tip, do not try to use nvidia.com. I know in the past, Nvidia has been one to go to if you're going to try to buy some of their founders edition cards and whatever else cards coming out you can typically go there in the past you've been able to buy through their site but this is not going to be the case with this site because they are not going to have any founders edition card for the rtx 30 series let's go ahead and check in take a look here real quick guys so you can kind of see for yourself now in the past like i said you used to be able to go ahead and go here and Pick a card you could buy a card on launch day until they ran out. That's how it was in the past, but now that they've had so many issues with bots, scalpers, and just so much traffic hitting their site, they're not selling any cards anymore on their site. They're leaving it up to secondhand retailers. It's just not happening on their website anymore. So don't try to go to the site. It's not going to do you any good. You're going to be wasting your time. It's going to just send you simply to a uh, secondhand retailer just like this. If you try to go to click one on launch day, that's what you're gonna run into guys. So don't waste your time. You're not gonna have any sort of help there. So don't waste your time. Now, when can we expect to see these cards online? Well, it's gonna be a little bit different this time than we're used to seeing. So we're actually gonna see a 9 a.m. Pacific Standard release this time instead of the 6 a.m. Pacific Standard that we're used to seeing. So definitely don't uh, sit there and spam F5 thinking you've missed the launch. You haven't yet. It's just a little bit later. So 9 a.m. Pacific Standard, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So who can you expect to have the RTX 3060 on launch? Who's going to be the most reliable to buy from? Well, guys, what I would go ahead and say to you is definitely throw Amazon out of the picture. Amazon will probably have the cards but their product landing page is very difficult to find and can more often than not end up screwing you over trying to find it and wasting your time it it's just you're gonna have better success trying to go with other retailers such as best buy newegg b h photo and that's who i actually like to use guys if you're trying to get into something on launch day try best buy try newegg try b h photo now with Best Buy, they've actually upgraded their purchasing um, 
procedures with all of the stuff that has gone on and it, it's not uh, the same as it was before whenever a product does come into place and it, it actually launches the add to cart will happen you'll get to click it and it'll go through this whole process of telling you to wait and whenever it becomes available you can actually click to add it to cart again this is a procedure that they've taken to kind of help um, get rid of bots i don't know if this is actually kind of checking your system or whatnot when during this process but this is just some steps that that they have taken to help get rid of the bots in the whole process so definitely consider trying best buy because i feel like they're going to be very big and tender on this launch now next up i would say new egg is going to probably have the majority of the cards but the thing i don't like about new egg on launch days some of these product landing pages also don't show up for everybody at the same time they get hit so hard and you may not even see the product till well after somebody's already bought it and it's sold out so I would say that you're probably going to have more success on Best Buy, but that's just been my personal experience with launches, but these two sites will probably have the bulk of the supply. Now B&H Photo is also going to be one that's probably going to have these cards. Now I have seen in the past, at least with the 5900X, that I was able to actually pre-order the CPU. I ended up canceling it later because... I wasn't going to get it on time for me anyways at the time I have it now but I actually was able to pre-order the, the CPU through them and that may actually end up being an option for you so definitely give them a look I would check them out before the launch actually happens maybe like 10 20 maybe even an hour before it actually officially goes on because they may actually have the option to pre-order so I would give that a look I would consider them now with any of these websites, what I would encourage you guys to do is make sure that you are signed in to your account on these sites and also sign into your PayPal before you are ready to go. And I would be refreshing that PayPal every five minutes while you're waiting for this to make sure you stay logged in because the less steps that you have to go through is going to help you get through this faster, which is going to increase your chances. So definitely double check and make sure that you are signed in and you have an account made for all of these sites if you're for any of them for any of them that you're using so whichever one you're using have an account make sure you're signed in and signed into your paypal now another thing that may actually surprise you guys is your cell phone now companies like best buy and newegg both of these have apps and you can actually use an app to try to get a hold of the RTX 360. Heck, if you're really slick with it, you can go ahead and be navigating your desktop and trying to uh, do it on your cell phone at the same time if you're really slick with it. But the cell phone actually has a lot less steps to take using their app to purchase these items, which can turn out to be more advantageous for you and give you a better chance at getting these cards so i would encourage you to consider doing that as well that can definitely be something that helps you get a hold of one of these cards just like with the desktop guys make sure you're signed into everything make sure that you have an account created that you're signed into whatever it is you're trying to buy on it's going to be the same throughout you're not going to want to be stuck trying to get through signing up for an account or signing into your account whatever trying to buy one of these items guys it's gonna slow you down it's gonna hurt your chances so sign in sign in sign in now another thing i would make sure you guys do is be ready well ahead of time because it is entirely possible that they go ahead and they stagger these drops a little bit they may not just come right out at 9 a.m they may do 8 50 they may do 8 30 they may do 9 30 just to try to help with the huge surge that they're going to be dealing with of people trying to get these cards so just be vigilant be mindful of that guys and you know you're going to be spamming f5 and that's fine and all but make sure that you are ready 
Now guys, I hope it's not the case for you, but if you do happen to not be successful in trying to get the RTX 3060 on launch day, I do actually have a video here that you can check out where I give you tips and tricks and strategies that you can use to help get a hold of these cards because cards are dropping every single day. There's hardware dropping every single day, guys, and there's ways to get them. And I give you tips and tricks on trackers that you can use and follow to help you get a hold of these things. Guys, I've used these methods. Guys, other people have used these methods and they've had success and you can have success too. So if you're interested in that, give that video a look. Guys, if you felt like this video was helpful in any sort of way to you, I would ask you go ahead and consider giving the video a like. It tells YouTube that I make decent videos and I'm um, of some sort of value here on YouTube. So they go ahead and they put my videos out there for more people to see. And that allows me to go ahead and help more people. And that's what I try to do on this channel. I do tech news, tech reviews, how to's and PC builds, guys. And if that's of interest to you, go ahead, hit that subscribe. We try to help out on this channel as much as we possibly can. I'm a fairly new channel, but I'm trying to grow as much as I possibly can. And if you'd help me in that venture, I'd definitely appreciate it. Guys, that's going to do it for the video. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, confusions, whatever it may be, don't hesitate. Ask. I don't mind helping. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here. Hope you want to be a part of it. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment. They go so far for the channel. It really helps me continue to make content and grow. And with that said, I hope you can like. I hope you get to subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe. A tech vibe. Specifically. We'll see you.